Hello, everyone, and once again, I am Minister J, and she is Minister A, and we are excited to, once again, 90 Days with Jesus Christ. We're excited about this for the young kids and just the testimonies that will come from their time spending with Jesus Christ, the excitement and everything else that's going on. So as we get ready to jump into Matthew chapter 8, I'm excited. Don't forget, it's an international children's Bible, so it's easier for them to understand and it also helps us out as well. I agree. Matthew chapter 8, let's go. Jesus heals a sick man. When Jesus came down from the hill, great crowds followed him. Then a man sick with a harmful skin disease came to Jesus. The man bowed down before him and said, Lord, you have the power to heal me if you want. Yes, he does. Jesus touched the man and said, I want to heal you. Be healed. And immediately the man was healed from his skin disease. Then Jesus said to him, don't tell anyone about what happened, but go and show yourself to the priest and offer the gift that Moses commanded for people who are made well. This will show people that you are healed. Jesus heals a soldier's servant. Jesus went to the city of Capernaum. When he entered the city, an army officer came to Jesus and begged for help. The officer said, Lord, my servant is at home in bed. He can't move his body and is in much pain. Jesus said to the officer, I will go and heal him. The officer answered, Lord, I am not good enough for you to come into my house. All you need to do is command that my servant be healed and he will be healed. I myself am a man under the authority of other men, and I have soldiers under my command. I tell one soldier, go, and he goes. I tell another soldier, come, and he comes. I say to my servant, do this, and my servant obeys me. When Jesus heard this, he was amazed. He said to those who were with him, I tell you the truth. This man has more faith than any other person I have found even in Israel. Many people will come from the east and from the west. They will sit and eat with Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob in the kingdom of heaven. And those people who should have the kingdom will be thrown outside into the darkness. In that place, people will cry and grind their teeth with pain. Then Jesus said to the officer, go home, your servant will be healed just as you believed he would. And at that same time, his servant was healed. Jesus heals many people. Jesus went to Peter's house. There, Jesus saw Peter's mother-in-law was in bed with a high fever. Jesus touched her hand and the fever left her. Then Jesus stood up and began to serve Jesus. That evening, people brought to Jesus many who had demons. Jesus spoke and the demons left them. Jesus healed all the sick. He did these things to make come true what Isaiah the prophet said. He took our sufferings on him and he felt our pain for us. People want to follow Jesus. When Jesus saw the crowd around him, he told his followers to go to the other side of the lake. Then a teacher of the law came to Jesus and said, Teacher, I will follow you any place you go. Mm -hmm. Jesus said to him, the foxes have holes to live in. The birds have nests to live in. But the son of man has no place where he can rest his head. Another man, one of Jesus's followers said to Jesus, Lord, let me go and bury my father first. But Jesus said to him, follow me and let the people who are dead bury their own dead. Jesus stops a storm. Jesus got into a boat and his followers went with him. A very bad storm arose on the lake. The waves covered the boat, but Jesus was sleeping. The followers went to Jesus and woke him. They said, Lord, save us. We will drown. Jesus answered, why are you afraid? You don't have enough faith. (laughs) Then Jesus got up and gave a command to the wind and the sea. The wind stopped and the sea became very calm. The men were amazed. They said, what kind of man is this? Even the wind and the sea obey him. 
Jesus heals two men with demons. Jesus answered at the other side of the lake in the country of Gadarene. There, two men came to Jesus. They had demons in them. These men lived in the burial caves. They were so dangerous that people could not use the road by those caves. The two men came to Jesus and shouted, What do you want with us, son of God? Did you come here to punish us before the right time? Near that place where the large herd of pigs fe were feeding, the demons begged Jesus, If you make us leave these men, please send us into those herd of pigs. Jesus said to them, Go. So the demons left the men and went into the pigs. Then the whole herd of pigs <clears throat> ran, ran down the hill into the lake and were drowned. The men who were caring for the pigs ran away and went to the town. They told about all of this and what had happened to the men who had demons. Then the whole town went out to see Jesus. When they saw him, they begged him to leave their area. That's the end of chapter eight. I was smiling and giggling through this whole thing because she's reading it with so so much emotion and passion. Um, so, I mean, it makes it exciting for the kids as well, but exciting to hear the, the different inflections and tones in her voice as she reads it. So, awesome. I guess writing with Amy is exciting, you know. So, if you do, look up on TikTok, follow with writing with Amy. Um, but e either way, follow her as she does these things. But like we said, we're going to continue with the 90 days with Jesus Christ tomorrow as well, reading chapter nine, chapter nine, chapter nine, and the exciting thing that Jesus Christ will do in our lives when we spend time with them. Don't forget, we love you. Spend time with the kids. Let them hear worship music. It doesn't take long, but God will make a difference in our lives. I do agree. Use that time in the car. You know, you're riding, you're together anyway. Share something that kind of encourages this time with Jesus during the 90 days. Like that. All right. Let's go ride with Amy. <laughs> Love you guys. Love y'all. See you tomorrow. Bye-bye.